Welcome to Bayou Time. I'm Jacob DeGate, and it's Ash Wednesday, and we have Father Andre Malasson here to tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, particular why we uh, celebrate uh, Ash Wednesday. But uh, first, I wanted to welcome you to the stage. Great to have you here. Thanks, man. It's great to be here with you. All right. So, so Ash Wednesday, first, I mean, you know, you, of course, you have the ashes on your head, and you, you see people walking around, you know, with the, with the ashes. Can you tell us, you know, the reason or the meaning behind the ashes? Sure. Well, Ash Wednesday is, is most basically, it, it's the day that the holy season of Lent begins. Um, and so we enter into these about 40 days, 46 days, but we remember Jesus 40 days in the desert. And it's begun with Ash Wednesday. So we receive the ashes on our head. Mm -hmm. uh, the prayer when we receive that, the ashes is repent and believe in the gospel, or remember you are dust and unto dust you shall return. And so Receiving ashes is something that goes way back into the Old Testament. Jesus talks about it in the Gospel. Um, and it's, it's really a sign of two things. One, it's a, it's a remembrance that, that we're going to die, um, that, our, that our life is, is numbered, our days are numbered. And two, that, that we're called to repent. We're, turn, we're called to, to turn from sin and to turn back to the Lord. Um, and so it's, it's, a, it's a visible reminder. We call it a sacramental um, that we are dust, and unto dust we shall return, and, and that we are to turn away from the things of this world and to turn to God, to turn our hearts back to the Lord and, and be strengthened once again in our faith. Okay, and in the ashes themselves, that comes from, uh, obviously, the burning of the palms. Correct, and, and that's, that's right. Uh, that's the palms from last year, the last uh, week that's in right. Lent. So, that so right? people bring their palms back uh, from, from the previous year, and we burn them, and then we, we sift out the ashes uh, and... Uh, and, and we make the ashes. And then there's a, the beautiful prayer of blessing that in the liturgy you bless the ashes before you impose them on people. All right, and of course it's, it's the beginning of the Lenten season. Uh, in, uh, of course, down south we have it a little bit easier with uh, not eating meat on Friday with it's crawfish. True. <laughs> Can you tell us, you know, some ways, uh, I guess, to be, you know, to, to have a good Lent yeah, season? Yeah, absolutely. I, funny story. I remember one year, I, I, you know, people do a penance for Lent, and so I gave up eating seafood on Fridays for oh, Lent. That was one of the most difficult <laughs> Lents ever. I don't know that I'm doing that this year, but we try to, to, we try to eat simply. You know, even though we do have amazing seafood, you know, uh, here in South Louisiana, we try to not overdo it uh, and to keep the spirit of fasting, uh, even though we can eat seafood on Friday. Um, but I think one of the main things is, is to just get back to the basics. You know, um, all of us, myself included, sometimes can, can just get a little bit lax in the faith. And, and Lent is a time where we remember that, that our life is a gift from God and that we're called to live our life for God. And so, you know, the ways that we pray, the ways that we're, we're called to be charitable, um, sometimes it's, it's, it's an opportunity for us to recommit to that or maybe to say, you know, what is something new that I can, that I can bring into my life to help me to to, to be more who God calls me to be and to be more in that intimacy with Christ. Um, so your parishes and your churches, you know, uh, will have different events. Like at St. Bernard at church, we have something called Mercy Night that we do every mm -hmm. Wednesday. It's just a time for the community to gather and pray in adoration and, and receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Uh, in the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau, we, we always have one Wednesday where we call it The Light is On. So it's a, it's a, a Wednesday night that every church in the diocese uh, has the Sacrament of Reconciliation offered at the same time. And, and I know at St. Bernard, and when I was at St. Francis, St. Thomas, that's a time when a lot of people return back to the sacrament. Um, <clears throat> but a, a lot of people, you know, see all the times that our churches have, um, you know, confessions offered, and, and, and they try to go that. Uh, one big thing that uh, we do, I know in our diocese, and I think all over the country, is people get their rice bowls. And mm -hmm. so today we had our little plastic rice bowls. Um, that's an initiative of Catholic Relief Services, which is the, the U.S. bishops um, outreach to the global world and the global church. And I remember going to Uganda um, back in 2007, and I would see Catholic Relief Services all over the place. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, people giving of, of, of their money, um, the, the little extra change that they have, or, you know, sometimes really, hopefully, you know, giving and making a sacrifice so that they can give to people who, who don't have, you know. So, um, it's that increase in prayer, it's an increase in, in, in almsgiving, the increase in fasting that I think helps people to have a, a holy Lent. You know? Yeah, and I, th I think it's, uh, it's a good way, like you said, to, to come and, and get back involved in the church if you may be during the year, you know, you, you've slipped away or it hasn't been since Christmas that you thought yep. about it. It's Time to come back, yep. 
Yeah, it's certainly, uh, certainly, uh, you know, a time for reflection as well uh, on, on all the things that uh, Jesus has done for us. And, and then, of course, you know, it all comes down to the end at, uh, you know, Good Friday and Easter Sunday. That's right, right. So just like an Advent before Christmas, Lent is, is a time of, of a journey where we're, where we're preparing for something, and you just alluded to it, you know, that um, at the end of Lent is, is what we call the holiest weeks of the year, where uh, we remember those final days of Jesus' earthly life before his, his death, um, and, and the church comes together in a more particular way, starting on Palm Sunday, and remembering Jesus' passion, and then um, the, the, the sacred triduum, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then the Easter Vigil and Easter Sunday uh, is, is the culmination. So we hope that by preparation and, and really, you know, turning our hearts back to the Lord, when, when we are standing before, you know, uh, Mount Calvary and Golgotha at our Lord's Passion, when we're with Him in the upper room, and when we're at the tomb of Easter Sunday, uh, we have been prepared to celebrate these mysteries of, of our faith, all of our hope, which is found in the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, and that we're re re ready to celebrate those mysteries. So, um, so that's what it's all about, preparing our hearts more for heaven, turning our hearts to the Lord, and preparing our hearts to really have a beautiful Easter. Well, uh, Father, we, th we thank you for coming on and hopefully, uh, you know, giving some people out there, uh, you know, a, a reminder on why Lent's important and why we, we do what we do. Thank Amen. you. Amen. All right. Stay tuned for more right here on HTV.